It just looks like a termite building right now. A pair of dilapidated but historic cottages across from La Jolla Cove could be getting new life. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains how after years of neglect, vandalism and a fire, a new beginning could be in store. It's been beautiful. We love it. Charles Gracia stepped outside his La Jolla Cove Hotel Thursday to a cloudless sky, deep blue ocean and rocks packed with sea lions. But off to the side, something not so picturesque. We see this and wondering, well, why is it staying like this? He's referring to the two cottages directly across from La Jolla Cove called Red Rest and Red Roost. Built in 1894, the city declared them historic in 1976, meaning the owner, the late Jack Heimberge, who owned the adjacent La Jolla Cove Hotel, couldn't redevelop them into apartments. Instead, he let them fall into disrepair until he died. Heimberg split the ownership among his heirs, a legal battle over the property finally settling in 2018. And if clearing that roadblock to redevelopment wasn't enough, one of the cottages mysteriously caught fire in 2020. All the while, questions about what's next. After years of wondering, we finally have a clue. This public notice right here on the fence shows the plans for the two cottages, restore them into something commercial, plus an underground garage and eight condo units above. Yeah, I just want to see it look more original as to what it was made. Architecture firm Alcorn and Benton applied to the city last month to build the four-story condo building above the cottages. And given the prime real estate, we'll come back for sure and maybe by then this will be fixed up. The project probably won't take another hundred years. John Horn, ABC 10 News. Architecture firm Alcorn and Benton told us its goal is to build something appropriate for the community which preserves the historical aspects of the site. It plans to get community input as part of the process.